Okay, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up CookieBot for GDPR protection on your WordPress blog. And first thing you want to do is you want to go into your WordPress admin, log into your blog, uh, go to your add plugins, plugins, add new uh, menu, and go over here to search and type in CookieBot. And you can see here, first thing you get is cookie bot gdpr compliant cookie consent and notice click on install now see it installed and activate okay and that's <clears throat> that's really um all for the for the first part now what we have to do is we have to set up a cookie bot account so we should go to the uh, link i got got for you and talk about CookieBot. You can give you a free um, month-long trial and then if you have if you want their advanced features or if you have more than a hundred pages on your blog it's going to be um, ten dollars a month and then it goes up if you have a very large site the price can actually go up but you come here create your account basically email address password Accept Terms of Service, click Next, and then walk through the steps. And basically what you're going to do then is you're going to set up an account. We go here to Settings and, and create, in this case, a new separate group. For you, it'll be your first group. For me, That'll be my third. You can see here subscription plan, free one month trial. And I'm going to use default configuration. Okay. And boom. And now down here at domain name, I'm going to add the domain. World.net, scan frequency monthly daily you can see the price goes way up so just keep that as it is okay and enable bulk consent for all domains and really don't care after that okay I'm going to click on save here after you do that you can see here you can do a preview of how it looks and you can change the content and dialogue and stuff here if you want. You can do a different preview to see everything, how it looks. Okay, and click that off. Now go to your scripts. And here you're going to see your domain group ID. Go ahead and copy that. Just copy it. And... Uh, you can go back to WordPress. And in WordPress, in the CookieBot settings, if you go to Settings, after you activate it, Settings, and CookieBot, you can go here and you will paste that inside of it. Okay? And once you do that, once you paste that inside of it, um, and go down here and save changes, it's going to um, start scanning your site, okay? And once it starts doing that, the next thing you need to do, if you already have a cookie declaration, if you watch the previous video, go back um, to the uh, blog post about uh, GDPR and your WordPress blog, um, have a link here for you below the video. Go back there and get that cookie policy that's there and go to that cookie generator, policy generator, and use that to generate a policy for your site. And then from inside that policy, do the same thing as I have on the Starter Academy site here, which is, um, go down, I'm going to scroll way down at the bottom of the page here down to my cookie policy. And if you go to my cookie policy on Starter Academy, as you see, 
all the stuff we talk about cookies here. And then you see here for data on what cookies we collect here at getstarted.net, please visit the cookie declaration page. And that takes you back to where we were just at, which is the you know, cookie declaration page. And this information here, right here, when I created this page, I wrote this information here. I created the page, I called it Clicky Declaration in WordPress, right? But if you look here, I'll click on Edit Page. This is all that page is. And I put contact information here for them to contact us through our Contact Us page. I put cookies collected by us and then cookie declaration, the short code that comes with the CookieBot plugin. This is that same short code. So if you go back to the settings here in the page, you see here you just copy that short code right there, copy it and put it into a page and it will output all of this information. Now while it's scanning, it'll tell you, It'll the only thing it'll show here, it'll have a, a sentence here saying it's still scanning. It could take up to 24 hours to scan the website until it identifies all the cookies on the site. And that's okay. That's what it's going to have to do. So it can take up to 24 hours to thoroughly scan your site to identify all the cookies that are on your site. So this is how you know that you go from a good solution to the right solution when it comes to cookie protection, data protection for not only for you and your business, for, but for those from the European Union who are being protected by the GDPR. And that's how simple it is. It's a very simple, down and dirty um, setup, but once it's set up, it runs by itself. Now, um, things to consider. Let me go back here. here on in the actual cookie bot itself. You can see here, this is a trial. Now I have the Starter Academy. I have here, you can see my domains in here, the scan frequency. And dialog, you can see here, check boxes in default mode. I can check that and have that as default. You can, big thing here is down at the bottom of this page where you have the dialogue is select territory for visitors who will be asked for consent. And you click on this and you can see here, I can show this to all visitors. I can show it to visitors from the European Union only. And then I can actually dig into from specific countries or regions. Now, I only want to show this to visitors from the EU only, okay? And once I do that, um, obviously that by itself for CookieBot costs me $10 per month just for that feature and allows me to have um, the ability to come in here and edit a lot of these different things. You can change the template and you can get into, you know, really um, customizing everything. When you have a free account, you can't customize all this stuff. You can customize a bunch of the content here and you can come in here and all the different information uh, about the cookies and what each one means. And, you know, once you do that, you then it has the scripts page which this is only if, if you can use CookieBot if you don't have WordPress. If you have just that HTML site you want to use this on, you can use this as well. So um, don't think you it's just a WordPress only solution. This is a very robust solution. It's based out in uh, the UK and uh, it's built for people in the UK. So you can tell that you're getting a good solid tool. It's highly recommended, integrates with a lot of major tools, and you will probably seen that same consent form um, other places as well. So that's it. That's the down and dirty. That's how to set up CookieBot in your site. Not a lot to it. So I highly recommend you do this so you can protect you, your business, and the people visiting your site.
Thanks.